What's up everybody, it's Trent, back again with another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G version. Uh, first off, just a couple of things off the top that I want to address. Uh, little horse, spent the weekend in Austin, scared my lungs out, so I apologize if I'm hoarse a little bit. Uh, but about the phone, a couple of things, like I said, I want to address. Uh, number one, no headphone jack, which is some of y'all. This might be a little bit of a killer, especially the people that aren't fully invested into wireless earbuds or wireless headphones. Uh, me personally, I own at least two pairs of wireless headphones, so no headphone jack is not a deal killer for me. Um, I switched over to uh, wireless headphones about two years ago. Really like them. Lag a little bit, but it's not too bad, so it's not like you're hearing the audio five or ten seconds after you hear or you see the video play. So um, if you like wireless headphones, the no headphone jack is not going to be a big deal for you. You can get used to it pretty quickly. Uh, but for the people that do, you're just going to have to suck it up and get a new phone. Uh, first impressions of this phone, uh, this thing is a beast. It's got 12 gigabytes of RAM that uh, includes both the Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus version. Um, it's got 128 gigs starting off of storage. So a lot of storage for whatever you need, whether it be video, photos, uh, you name it, files, a lot of storage to basically do whatever you want. Uh, external, external. We're gonna give you around a terabyte if you choose to upgrade to a SD card. You can get an additional uh, terabyte of storage. I don't know of anybody that would need that much, but if you do, that's an option for you. Uh, shout out to the background, Texas football. Hook them. We're going undefeated this year. We lost to LSU, but that's all right because we're gonna win the rest of our games. So let me go ahead and get into the phone. Uh, one thing I like about this phone. One thing I like about Samsung phones that they started doing with the S10s is the in-screen fingerprint sensor. This thing is fast, it's reliable. Um, if you wanna go ahead and do yourself a favor and go ahead and add a bunch of fingerprints, that way, you know, instead of just having to use one fingerprint all the time at different angles, you can add different angles, uh, different fingerprints to where it's gonna be faster and reliable. That's what I do and it's worked out great for me. Uh, Use my thumb, index finger, both thumbs. They work really well. It's really fast. Uh, and if you're not one of those people that likes the fingerprint, you can also use a password or a pen. Uh, get into your phone like that. Shout out to the wallpaper, Sam Ellinger. Going to win the Heisman this year. If y'all can't tell so far, I'm a Cowboys fan. I mean, a Longhorns fan. I'm also a Cowboys fan, but, you know. All right, so, phone. Get the end screen fingerprint sensor which I said is uh, pretty tight you got the 12 gigabytes of RAM you got 128 gigabytes of storage all the way up to one terabyte I currently have the 128 gigabytes because I, I really don't need that much but the 128 was the least I could do uh, the battery one of the reasons they took off the headphone jack for this phone was to give you a bigger battery and they gave you a huge battery. You got 4,300 milliamp hours of battery, which is more than enough to power you through your day. Doesn't matter what you're using this phone for. I, I don't see you using all that battery in one day unless you're just constantly streaming videos and even then it's gonna be a stretch. Uh, onto the camera, you got three cameras back here. You got your main camera which is going to give you your, your best photos and best video and 4k you got your telephoto camera and then you've got your wide angle camera so three pretty good cameras giving you great pictures and video onto the display uh not the fastest most fluid display there are in smartphones nowadays i think the OnePlus 7 pro has a 90 hertz display and i'm almost positive that we're going to see some other phones this year come out that are 90 hertz and 120 hertz. Uh, but for this being a Samsung, this is probably the most fluid. Uh, the last phone that I had was a Samsung Galaxy Note 8. And I love that phone. Uh, that phone was fast, but you you can immediately tell the difference between 
the uh, the display and the refresh rate on this. It's fluid. It's fast. Uh, a lot of people complain about the pre-order phones uh, having glitches and uh, things like that, but I haven't really encountered anything yet. And I've had this phone for almost three weeks, and it's been a beast. Battery's been great. Camera's been great. Haven't had any uh, hiccups yet, so that's good. Uh, the hole punch cutout in the middle of the uh, top part of the screen. Some people say that it's a, a eyesore. Some people say that they don't like it. Personally, if you had this phone for a week, you'd get used to it because you all the good stuff about this phone outweighs the bad. Uh, you'll be more impressed with the display, the camera, the in screen fingerprint sensor and everything else going on with this phone. Uh, and plus there's some really cool wallpapers that you can use to kind of hide that cutout. Uh, I don't have any yet. I'm, I'm kind of rocking the uh, Longhorn wallpaper right now. But if you're into that kind of thing, you can go on uh, Galaxy Themes and find some on there. Or you can follow Ice Universe on Instagram. And he's got a bunch on there. So for the people that want to hide that notch, I'll check that out. Uh... Impressions on the outside look of the phone. This phone is absolutely clean. Uh, right now I've got a back screen protector or a back protector on it just to kind of shield from scratches and stuff just because last phone I had got scratched and I had to replace it before I sent it off. Uh, and the back is a fingerprint magnet. So if you don't want your fingerprints getting all over it, I suggest you either put a case on it as soon as you get this or do what I did and buy a cheap little back protector. I think this was like five bucks on Amazon. Uh, you can get a deep brand skin if you want. They're kind of expensive, uh, but they're, they're really good quality. This is kind of more of a thin back protector, kind of like a fake carbon fiber type thing, but uh, it does the job well. Uh, shields the phone from fingerprints and everything, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, one of the things that Samsung has started doing with just like their in-screen fingerprint uh, has started to include screen protectors on their phones. Now this is pretty bad quality, but if, I don't know if you can see that outline, but that's a screen protector. Uh, just in case you can't afford one or don't really want to pay the extra money, they include one and I gotta say it's, it's pretty good quality. I mean, it, it's going to get scratched cause it's not glass, but, um, for a free screen protector, that's not bad at all. Um, it's pretty generous that Samsung includes one with your phone considering you spend at least a thousand dollars on these uh, speaking of price this phone right here this is the note 10 plus 5g version it's going to run you thirteen hundred dollars which is a lot of dough but if you're looking for a mini tablet they can do it all in your pocket or uh, i would go with this one this is a great phone so far i'm, I'm loving it uh even paid off my other phone early just so i could pre-order this one and i have not been disappointed yet uh the display's awesome, the battery's great, camera's great. Uh, everything about this phone so far, I love getting used to it pretty well. Uh, one thing about the uh, the layout of this phone is the power button's gonna be on the left side right here. Uh, so if you're used to it on the right, it's gonna be kind of, kind of new territory getting used to, but it's not too bad once you spend about a week with this phone. Uh, after you spend you know, some quality time, get to know your phone, how it operates and everything, you're gonna get used to it. Uh, I thought it was gonna be a big problem for me because like I said, I was really used to having the power button on the right side and the volume buttons on the left side. Um, and for the people that don't like Bixby, I don't personally like Bixby either. Uh, she's annoying and I used to have an iPhone, thought it was gonna be kind of like Siri. It's just, it, I mean, it, it doesn't seem like it is. There's just something about it that just seems off. Uh, so this is you're going to act like a, a Bixby button, but in settings, you can go in there and turn it off. All right, so here it is. So what you're going to want to do is go into settings, go into advanced features, uh, Bixby routines, you can just turn off because you're not going to be using Bixby. Go to side key and you can double press to open the quick launch camera and press and hold that power button to power off your phone. And one thing I like about this phone is, since they included that side button with Bixby, if you don't want to go to that much trouble, all you have to do is go up here to this power button, 
You can power off your phone from there. Really convenient. Really easy to do. Um, other thing is you get your wireless power share. So if you want to charge another phone, like Samsung, or you want to charge your watch, your Galaxy Buds, you can go ahead and turn that on. Charge them pretty quickly. Um, get your power savings mode. So if you're running low on battery, which I don't think you will be, but if you're one of those power users, power mode to save your battery. Uh, one thing also I'm liking about this phone is it has a built-in screen recorder. So, you know, you want to record some music, movies, turn that on, record your screen. It's pretty convenient, pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, that is my review of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G version. Oh, one more quick thing is S Pen. Super convenient, super fun to use. I almost forgot about this. So you go into camera, and you can use your S Pen to switch between the different modes. Really convenient, really actually kind of fun if you're not a hands-on person. Of course, I don't know why you wouldn't be. But all you have to do is press this little side button right here on the uh, S Pen, hold that down, and just motion left or right. Pretty convenient, like I said. And if you want to set this thing on a tripod, go ahead and press that button down a couple of times. Get you some good pictures. That was an accident. But anyway, yeah, you just uh, go ahead and turn this thing a couple of times. Motion gestures are awesome. And one thing else that you can do with this is go here to this little doodle button up here. Um, two things, you can either scan your face and doodle there. Um, you know, draw on yourself if, you know, you're one of those people. Um, or you can go here and scan everywhere around you. Pan your area before you start doodling. That way you can kind of create like a live effect with the uh, doodles. I haven't really used it a whole lot, so I um, haven't really played around with it, but if you're one of those people that likes to doodle, you can kind of take a picture of your outside, maybe your pool, maybe your backyard, and kind of create a landscape. Uh, it's pretty useful if you're one of those people. I know a lot of people that would like to use it. Um, I just don't have any need for it, but pretty cool little useful feature and really cool of Samsung to include air gestures with the S Pen. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty good phone. Uh, like I said, one of the best phones that Samsung has ever come out with. Um, just a beast in absolutely every way. So uh, like I said, man, I absolutely recommend this phone. 12 gigabytes of RAM, baseline storage of 128 gigs all the way up to one terabyte. Uh, three awesome cameras. No headphone jack, but like I said earlier, if you're one of those people that uses wireless headphones and wireless earbuds, that would not be a big problem because you're sacrificing headphones for battery, uh, 4,300 milliamp hours of battery, which is absolutely insane. Your display is one of the top displays of any smartphone. The refresh rate on this is second to probably only OnePlus 7 Pro, just an extremely fluid phone. So yeah, uh, if you're looking for a new phone, I highly recommend this one. It's a beast in every way. And, um, that's my review, so I uh, hope y'all liked it. Y'all have a good day.